We also are very privileged to be joined by Air Chief Marshal RKS Badoria. He's a former Chief of the Air Staff. Uh, uh, Air Chief Badoria, great to see you, sir. Thank you for your time and welcome to our uh, program here on India Today. I'd like to start by asking you, uh, Air Chief, uh, 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 the, you know, the, the backlash that we are seeing on the streets of many places is one thing. But how would you describe it, sir? You know, if you were talking to the young people of India right now who may be misinformed about certain things, uh, uh, what would you say to them? I'd like to start with that, sir. Yeah, very clearly, uh, you know, there is a lot, lot of lack of understanding hmm. uh, uh, of the new scheme and a lot of misinformation. So, so. Uh, uh, just uh, this one factor that it is not a, a permanent job uh, from the start is kind of, uh, you know, uh, straying the youngsters on, on some different uh, understanding of the thing. It must be clearly understood that the starting point of this uh, for the four years when Agni we joined, look at the terms and conditions. Those mm. must be understood uh, by the aspirants. The terms and conditions are uh, way better. Thereafter, the entire rationale of this bringing in, like you covered, you know, we, we've gone past this for decades for this kind of recruitment system. Yes. We have to look at the future and uh, look at how we are going to train the future generations and how we are going to manage the defense and the security aspects. And this, this is going to happen. So, for the aspirants, it is very important to understand the terms and conditions don't get misled, don't, get, don't go by misinformation, don't get swayed by uh, some arguments being uh, made by people who have themselves not understood the scheme really. Hmm. They must realize the defense services which they are aspiring to join. They have vetted this and worked on it for a year and a half plus and gone through each of these aspects. Some of these uh, you know, issues or concerns being raised, they were all on the table, all discussed. Uh, uh, all sorted out in terms yes. of how, what will be addressed and uh, uh, thereafter the scheme was finalized. So, uh, the understanding of the scheme is very important and that will uh, put to rest most of their concerns. Uh, uh, Chief, you know, one of the things that critics of Agnipat, uh, you know, have been, have been voicing and I think uh, it is some of those voices that have uh, fueled and triggered the, the kind of protests we're seeing today is that, uh, you know, you've addressed one side of it, which is, uh, you know, job security and future prospects. The other is about national security. There are many veterans who, you know, who have publicly said that you are toying with national security. This will hamper national security and, uh, uh, you know, and the military is not a place to experiment with such things. How would you respond to that, sir? Is this a national security threat? Uh, again, uh, you know, they must uh, have faith in the people who are currently serving and the leadership who have gone through these aspects. It is not that uh, uh, the people who are involved in working out this and finalizing this scheme are not aware of these things. Hmm. So, uh, while sitting outside some of the, uh, uh, you know, work up that has happened, the discussions, the, the debates, everything that uh, we have gone through over the last uh, uh, nearly two years, uh, they are not privy to those. So, some of the concerns actually arise out of, uh, you know, lack of the entire uh, process and uh, uh, lack of rationale and details. A and these two, three small issues tend to flare up the uh, uh, feelings towards anti-scheme uh, feeling. Hmm. So, to the veterans, I would only say that, again, there is a need to uh, look at uh, terms and conditions. There is a need to understand it clearly. Yes. And thereafter, articulate uh, uh, the, the pluses. There are a huge number of pluses. Yes, there are these concerns, two, three concerns that uh, uh, any young uh, aspirant will have uh, if uh, the scheme changes from a permanent upfront job to initially four years. But to them, I want to tell them, if you are so, uh, uh, you know, uh, made up in your mind that you must join the defense service, uh, it is in you, work towards it. You will become uh, permanent after four years. Yeah. Uh, why this doubt that, uh, uh, you know, you will not become permanent? But it gives you more options. You will have options at the end of four years. You will have a, a, a kitty of uh, nearly 12 lakhs um, to work out if you want to go into another career, if you want to start your own business, whatever field you, you choose. And of course, if your uh, you know, mind is towards joining uh, the defense services and carrying on, 25% mm. is there. Numbers is again a confusion. You know, the, this 25% is the requirement, 25% of the Agnivis that are selected. Yes. 
the initial lot is around 46,000 that we are starting with. This number itself will go up. So the number of Agnivis that will uh, get into the defense services will continue to rise. So, so numbers is not an issue. Yeah. Uh, uh, substantial percentage is there for them to aspire to become permanent. And that is the way to work towards it. It, it is wrong uh, for, yeah. for people with, uh, without full understanding and the background to, to uh, you know, uh, fuel this skepticism of the scheme and, and uh, for, for the youngsters to get swayed. Uh, it, it is you know, highly distressing to see youngsters uh, uh, into uh, this kind of protest. And if you are going to join the defense services, this is the last thing they should be doing. Uh, you know, the scheme is going to cut in, uh, uh, within 90 days there will be selection. It is time they start working on that. So that is the, uh, the clear understanding that must be given to the youngsters to start working towards uh, this new entry scheme. And everything else will fall into place. You will find in times to come uh, that it will have its uh, uh, you know, serious pluses. It is a hugely transformative process that will take place. Hey, Chief, one final question, sir, and uh, you know, you've addressed this, but I just wanted to, uh, you know, get it from you because uh, there, there, are, there are certain politicians who have, uh, you know, decided to criticize it openly. Uh, some politicians have announced dharnas in different parts of the country, in, including in Uttar Pradesh, uh, over the Agnipat scheme. Uh, there is, you know, it, it looks like an attempt is being made to, uh, uh, to, to project the fact that this is a reform that has been pushed through without adequate consultation. Are you denying that that is the case at all, sir, that this was adequately consulted with all stakeholders and only then rolled out? Of course. Like I said, it was nearly a two-year process. There has been a lot of consultation, all yeah. three services. We have gone through a lot of debates and discussions, uh, various options. There was a three years plus five years option. There was a seven-year option. Finally, after looking at all the pros and cons, and that is really going into the depth and into many of the concerns that are being uh, kind of talked about, it is because of those uh, that uh, uh, many of these final decisions were taken. The four-year pe period was chosen very carefully, hmm. uh, idea being that uh, there is enough time. A youngster is coming out at 22 years, 23 years uh, with 12 lakhs. Either he gets into permanent or he has the entire field open for him and uh, age on his side. There is a difference between a person retiring uh, at 38 yeah. years and looking for a second career and at 23 years. So, so, you know, there are so many pluses. Plus, you look at the world over, you know, uh, 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 in terms of security aspects, in terms of defense. Uh, in fact, uh, our schemes will be much, much better than what is happening around the world in any mm. case. And uh, with this new scheme, uh, next two to three decades, we are going to uh, be with this kind of scheme. Any changes, minor changes, minor course cor correction that will take place will happen, of course, uh, as we go down. But, but this is the uh, uh, scheme and the way of things to come and it must be clearly understood. We shouldn't get into, uh, you know, uh, get swayed by uh, unfounded concerns or, or lack of understanding. There's a lot of misunderstanding and uh, uh, people should avoid, uh, yeah. you know, skepticism at this stage. What, just one final point that I'm going to request you to make, uh, Air Chief, which is that, uh, you know, the, the protests that we saw, these young people indulging in the violence, you know, you just said that's the last thing that they should be indulging in if they are defense aspirants. I want you to switch to Hindi for just a moment, sir, because, you know, these are all states which are Hindi-speaking, all of these youths are Hindi-speaking youth, so I want you to address them in Hindi for a moment. We will share what you say with as many of these youngsters as possible. So for the next 30, 40 seconds, I want you to pretend like you are speaking to these defense aspirants, these young Indians, sir. Speak in Hindi, speak your heart and tell them what you think they need to hear. Yes, sab log jo is scheme ke upar protest kar rahe hain and it's sab aspirants hain jo Agnivir ya defense services mein aana chahte hain. Unko me clearly batana chahta hu ki aapko sabse pehle is scheme ko puri tarah se samajna chahiye. आप गुमराह नहीं होए जो दो तीन बातें सुनके कि ये स्कीम खराब है या इसमें ये प्रॉब्लम है एंड आप अपने ये सब आपने जो कदम उठाए हैं यू नो आगजनी और दंगा फसाद ये चीजें तो बिल्कुल आपको पढ़ना ही नहीं चाहिए इस इस तरह के प्रोटेस्ट तो बिल्कुल हमारे अगेंस्ट हैं कि अगर आप देश की सेवा करना चाहते हैं तो इन चीजों में बिल्कुल मत पढ़िए आपको कूली बैठना चाहिए 
स्कीम के सारे टर्म्स कंडीशन देखो और बेसिक चीज समझो कि ये इनिशियल स्कीम एज अग्निवीर चार साल की है इसकी टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ पे इन टर्म्स ऑफ दूसरी कंडीशन सिमिलर है पे ज्यादा है चार साल में आपके पास एक नियरली बारह लाख का आपके पास एक किट्टी होगा अगर आप परमानेंट नहीं होते हैं तो इससे आप अपना कुछ भी सेट कर सकते हैं और सरकार ने बहुत प्रावधान किए हैं जिसमें आप दूसरे सीएपीएफ में जा पाएंगे होम मिनिस्टर ने ऑलरेडी ये क्लैरिफाई किया है सम चीफ मिनिस्टर्स ने ऑलरेडी बोला है कि वो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स में जॉब का प्रावधान करेंगे और आप देखेंगे ये गवर्नमेंट की स्कीम है ये एक बहुत बड़ा कदम है आप इसमें आराम से अपनी प्रिपरेशन शुरू करिए इस स्कीम की एंट्री के लिए अपनी तैयारी करिए इन सब प्रोटेस्ट से निकलिए और उस पर कंसेंट्रेट करिए तभी आप डिफेंस सर्विसेज में आ पाएंगे एंड उसके बाद ये जब चार साल आप इसमें रहेंगे आप खुद देखेंगे कि चार साल के बाद आपके एवेन्यूज पूरा हम डिफेंस सर्विसेज बहुत सपोर्ट करते हैं आप आप हमारे पार्ट होंगे डिफेंस सर्विसेज के एंड आपको पूरी सपोर्ट दी जाएगी फ्रॉम डिफेंस सर्विसेज एंड दूसरे डिपार्टमेंट्स जो आपको दूसरे जॉब्स देने के लिए तैयार रहेंगे अभी कल ही मैं कुछ एक पैनल पे कुछ इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट से बात कर रहा था इंडस्ट्री में लोग देख रहे हैं कि जो अग्निवीर बाहर आएंगे उनको वो लेने को तैयार हैं अभी से आप देखिए बड़े बड़े इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट की कुछ स्टेटमेंट्स हैं तो आप बिल्कुल गुमराह नहीं होइए और ये समय है अपनी तैयारी करने का समय कम है एंड अग्निवीर का जब सिलेक्शन आए तो आप अगर डिफेंस सर्विस में ज्वाइन करने के इच्छुक हैं तो उसकी तैयारी करके अपने पूरे दम से उसमें पार्ट लीजिए और इस सब प्रोटेस्ट और ये गुमराह होने से बिल्कुल बचिए और निकलिए एयर चीफ मार्शल आर के एस भडोरिया ऑलवेज अ प्लेजर वॉइस ऑफ विजडम वॉइस ऑफ रीजन वील मेक श्योर योर वॉइस रीच इज ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ दोज यूथ सर बिकॉज दे आर यंग इंडियंस एंड दे मे हैव बिन लेड अ स्ट्रे एंड वी विल रीच योर वॉइस टू दैम थैंक यू सो मच सर इट्स बिन अ प्रिवलेज स्पीकिंग टू यू थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम यर ऑन इंडिया टूडे